Hello, my name is Janardhan Bishta, a radio journalist from Nepal. I have been working in Radio Nepal since more than one and a half decade. I am currently working as a chief editor. As we are celebrating World Earth Day 2019 with the theme Protect Our Species, I am going to make a presentation on climate change impacts on biodiversity and species in Nepal. Welcome to my presentation. Let's begin from the global concern of climate change. Global climate change has become a buzzword since 19th century when scientists identified the natural greenhouse effects in the rise of the temperature of our planet Earth. Numerous studies since then has focused on how to save this planet from the adverse effects of global climate change. Global warming is expected to continue with an increase of 5.8 degrees Celsius by 2100 in comparison to 1.4 degrees Celsius of 1990. Climate change adversely affects biodiversity and loss of biodiversity disrupts the whole ecosystem. Impact of climate change is clearly visible on marine, terrestrial and freshwater system. Population of marine species is sharply declining in the last 20 years as the global warming contributes to the destruction of habitats. The population of land, mammals and bird species are also decreasing due to changing climate and environment about 150 species of birds have been lost in the last 500 years and at present one in eight species are threatened with global extinctions. Nepal is located in the Himalayan mountain range between India and China with 68% of land is mountainous terrain. 15% of land is covered with snow mountains and 17% of the land is plain area. Population is roughly 30 million. Forest area is 44.74 percent. Due to climate change, average rainfall is decreasing, creating serious problems in the biodiversity and agricultural harvesting, while at the other hand, increased temperature is contributing to snow and ice melt of mountains, causing sudden heavy floods and rust of ice lakes. Climate plays a vital role in the existence and well-being of living beings. Climate change has been perceived as one of the major factors that contribute to the disappearance of species from this planet. Changes in climate affect the flood. Changes in climate affect the food chains in which living beings depend. According to 1994 Red List of Threatened Animals published by IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, 28 mammals, 22 birds, 9 reptiles and 2 invertebrates are in the list of endangered species in Nepal. Red Panda, Bengal Tiger, Snow Leopard, One Horned Rhinoceros, dolphin are among them, but the efforts are going on to preserve them and significant achievement has so far been achieved. The number of rail Bengal tigers has increased significantly in recent years to 235, nearly double the numbers from 2009. So what Nepal government is doing to preserve species from the severe consequences of the climate change is the matter of concern for all. What are the constitutional provisions to safeguarding environment and species? What is the policy framework of the government are all important in these directions. As far as the concern of constitutional provision, the constitution has ensured the right of every citizen to live in a clean and healthy environment. In the meantime, government has been collaborating with national and international organizations working in this area. Government launched Hari Urban Project, literally translated as Brain Forest Project, in collaboration with 
World Wildlife Fund WWF since long and it is the great success project in preserving Nepal's forest area. As far as the concern of policy development, Government of Nepal is reviewing and formulating provincial and local level policies including climate change and SDG issues. Formulating Environment Protection and Climate Change Act 2019 and formulating other sectoral acts and policies including climate change and environment protection policies are the major tasks of the government in these days. Nepal has already gone to the new political system, that is federal system. That's why many acts, rules and regulations need to be rewriting, need to be revised in the changed political situations. At the same time, media is very important in every sector of human lives. Media is very vital in protecting the environment in minimizing the impacts of global climate change. So this is another concern of all people that how media is responding to the burning issue of global climate change. Media play a vital role to sensitize and aware people in the preservation of surrounding environment. Media create pressure on policymakers, industrialists and other stakeholders for the protection of environment and species. It helps to reduce the impact of climate change on environment and endangered species by promoting preservation and protecting areas. Almost all media, be it print, electronic or online, have created separate bit of environment reporting. Nepal Forum for Environmental Journalist Nefes is actively dedicated in this area. I presented a brief scenario of the climate change impacts on biodiversity and species and it is the duty of all journalists to help protect environment and save the planet through production and dissemination of information, news and programs. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Happy art day. Goodbye.